Out of those exploding airbags, the company that makes them reportedly now the focus of a possible criminal investigation as the number of cars on the road with the defective bags keeps on rising. NBC's David Curley has the story. Good morning, David. Morning, George. Now, this preliminary criminal probe in what has become a very confusing recall. Federal safety officials correcting the numbers twice and a website that doesn't work. This morning, the airbag recall <laughs> is more urgent with Toyota telling nearly a quarter million of its customers that if it runs out of replacement bags, it will temporarily disable your passenger this, airbag this until a, a new one is installed. If that happens, a warning to keep riders out of the passenger seat. And now another three million cars, moving the total up to nearly eight million vehicles that urgently need defective airbags replaced. Those numbers keep changing, and the federal safety agency is telling consumers to use its website to see if their car is affected. But that site isn't working. This is the same agency that didn't get the GM ignition switch right. And now they don't even know what the uh, story is on the Takata airbags, uh, enough to tell the public and protect the public. It's terrible. These airbags made by the Japanese company Takata were recalled last year. But 10 car makers in the government are now saying the problem is worse than suspected. It's the inflator, the canister, exploding so fast it can send metal shards flying. Safety advocates say four deaths are linked to bad airbags. Angela Barbosa says her recall notice came after the metal shards injured her in a 2012 accident near Dallas. This is literally a time bomb in their face. It's literally a grenade. So now we are at 8 million cars that urgently need these new airbags, but safety advocates say that's just part of the problem that a total of 20 million cars in this country should be recalled.